Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am here to unbox the Illumicrate Saints and Scars box and I am so excited. Now the wait between the release of King of Scars and the arrival of this box was about a week which is really really good because Illumicrate weren't actually able to like package the boxes at all, to open the books or anything to pack them um, until the actual release date. So they actually got it here really really quickly but because I was so desperate for King of Scars because everybody else had it, it felt like the longest wait ever but it wasn't at all but it felt like it. Now before I get started I am going to say if you can hear little noises throughout this video like that that's because my rabbits are in this room and when I filmed a video the other week I actually temporarily moved them into the hallway while I filmed and it's just it's just too much effort so if you can hear them I'm sorry. Willow if you could just this is not the time. How do people film with like children? That's what I want to know because this is just now it came in this box, I assume it's probably a box within the box, um, but let's open it and see. I have already cut the little bottom bit, but I haven't opened it. The reason I do that is because it's just so difficult to do it when you're sat here and I was just like, you know what, I'm cutting it ahead of time. But I solemnly swear I have not opened it. Okay, let's go. I feel like I've waited so long for this. <laughs> Don't know how it's going to be laid out, nothing. This is the first like big box I've ever got. I've never had like a book hangover box. I've never had like a special box for any book before so this is really really exciting. Ooh, oh maybe it's not a box within a box. Oh it's not okay. Right I see it looks like a blanket but I don't know no, I don't want to spoil a card. No you don't want to spoil a card you want to look at stuff. So the first thing looks like a blanket. I'm trying to like take things out without looking at other stuff. There is not a lot of room in this room, by the way, because of the rabbit, so it's all a bit chaotic. Right, what is this? This looks like a blanket. Oh, it's soft. If I do like a blanket, it has to be soft, and this is very soft. Ooh, it looks like a fox. <laughs> Can you see it? I can't even see it yet. What I like about it is that it's really subtle. It's not like really obviously King of Scars, you know? It is really, really soft. I'm actually hoping that when this room is complete, I'm gonna have a spare bed over there and that's gonna be like a book nook reading corner as well. So this will go really, really nicely in the reading corner. Okay, let's have another look. I'm actually just gonna try and reach in and grab something so that I don't spoil other things that are in the box. So, what else we have? Oh my God, it's a Nikolai plushie. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing ever! I have to say, there's a Nikolai blushing. I don't think she's gonna care that much, but I'm gonna tell her. I'm taking him out of the packaging because I need to touch him. I love him. I see a lot of plushies in like um, other subscription boxes and I always think, oh, they look quite cute, but they never have a character that like I like. Whereas this, obviously I do. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, this is the small thing, so I'm going to take this out. Oh, it's a little pouch! It's got a sun on it, which I assume is, you know, Sun Summoner, Alina, and then on the back it has the Grishaverse and it has the shield. I really, really like this. This is a cute little purse. Um, I think I would probably actually keep, like, pins and stuff in here, like enamel pins and stuff like that, ones that I'm not going to um, put up on the wall and stuff, but I think that's really cute. Okay. I don't want to... Right, let's have a look. Oh, this looks like a candle. This is a candle. Ravka Myths. Ooh, let's have a look. I do like me a good candle. Anyone who knows me will attest to that. This one is called Ravka Myths and I don't know what the scent is. Hand poured soy wax, seaweed and juniper. I like the smell of juniper but I'm not too sure about seaweed. Let's see what it smells like. I hope I like it because I do love candles. This is not the kind of smell that I would usually like gravitate towards but it is really nice and I do love a good candle and also I think it's a really pretty design. So that's good. So what else have we got in here? It feels like there's still quite a lot of stuff in here. Right, I'm going to take this out. Okay, this feels like a mug and I do love my mugs. Okay. I can't see it properly. I'm excited because I love a mug. I can't see it properly. I can see it's got like a gold handle. Oh my god, this cup is literally my perfect mug. One could plot violent espionage and still hope for dessert. This is literally perfect. Anyone that knows me know that I have like two kind of styles that exist within the same like 
body so I love things where it says like you know one could plot for violence but then also want dessert that's like my two personalities not that I like violence but you know what I mean I like the dark kind of stuff but then also I really just like a good dessert and things that are a bit sweet and cute so I absolutely love this if I didn't have this box I would be wanting this mug so bad my two favorite things so far definitely the Nikolai plushie and the mug definitely okay so what else is in here oh enamel pins these are so cute I've recently got into like collecting enamel pins a little bit more um than what I used to and I'm gonna get like a pin flag and put it up somewhere in this room and have my enamel pins on there so I absolutely love these oh my god they are everything they are just perfection I love them love them oh these are pretty the box also comes with these amazing bookmarks which I really really love They are all absolutely adorable. I don't think I'm ever going to want to use them. They are so, so pretty. I think I'm pretty much done now. I think I've just got the book left. So the box also has these socks in. Now, honestly, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to wear these socks. They are very, very pretty, but I have to be really careful with the kind of socks that I wear because of my fibromyalgia. I get like burning feet and stuff like that. So I only can really wear like a specific type of socks. And I don't think I could actually wear these without them irritating my feet. Now, the... <laughs> I could put them on just for like the obligatory Instagram post, um, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I am that person. I will probably, I will probably do that and then take them off. And I have no shame, I have no regrets. And there's also a Nikolai Lantzoff calendar. Oh no, look at this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh, hello. Oh, he looks so lost. <laughs> my poor little love. Not so keen on that one. Oh, that one is a thing of beauty, I'm just saying. I'm not okay. I am not okay. So I'm pretty sure now it is the book that is left. No, there's still something else. Oh my god, is this a fan? Oh my god. I love fans. It's got a quote from Zoya on it which says, I would make a magnificent queen. I mean, I would. I would too. Now for some people they might be like, I don't really want this. I genuinely really like this because I really like fans. And also I just think as well, this would look really nice on the ball as well. And then, and then come summer when I'm hating everyone because it's so hot, I can just be like, sat there with my fan. Now we're at the book, let's go. Oh, it looks like it comes in a beautiful book sleeve. Oh, that's really nice. Hope was the wind that came from nowhere to feel your sails and carry you home. That is stunning. I absolutely love that. I actually don't have a book sleeve. Um, I've never had one in any of the subscription boxes that I've had in the past. I haven't had that many. And I really, really want one. And this is just, this is really nice. It's really padded. It's really luxurious. Loving that. That is really, really nice. So now it is time to take out the book. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Ah, I've waited so long. I've waited so long. Now on the surface, this looks like the standard edition of King of Scars, but it is not because it is an exclusive edition which has a different cover underneath the dust, well, it's different underneath the dust jacket is what I'm trying to say. Oh my God, it's stunning. I wanna put this cover somewhere that's not gonna get. Ah. Look at that. That is just stunning. And on the spine it says, the monster is me and I am the monster. This book is gonna hurt me. I absolutely love this edition. I absolutely love this edition. I was actually talking to Sam from Thoughts and Tomes about this the other day and I was saying like, I really do like special editions. I like editions that are that little bit different, obviously that little bit special. I don't value arcs. Like we've, I've talked about this before on my channel. I don't really, I don't have any need to like want to collect arcs really ever but I do really really like special editions so I'm really happy that I've got this because this is just stunning. So that's it, that's my Saints and Scars unboxing from Illumicrate. I absolutely love it. Let me know what your favourite item was. I think my absolute favourite item is the Nikolai plushie. Like if I had to pick one item I think it's my favourite but second to that is the book sleeve. Let me know what your favourite item was. Let me know if you're excited for reading King of Scars. Maybe you've read it yet, maybe you've finished it. Don't give me spoilers because I haven't started it yet. And if anyone spoils it, even like the slightest hint of like, oh, if you like blah, 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 then you're, no, no. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.